In this video we're going to take a quick look at how to add the post list element to any page or blog post on your website using Thrive Architect and we're also going to take a look at how to add pagination to the post list element. First thing that you'll want to do is open up a post or a page using Thrive Architect and on the right hand side add a new element and you can just start typing search for post and then drag it where you would like to locate it. I'm going to add this right into the blog post that I'm currently writing about this tutorial as an example. When the post list templates come up, choose the one that closely matches the look and feel you're going for. Uh, for this example, I'll just choose something really simple. Um, let's go with text only for, and then click choose that template. Now, a couple of things. To add pagination, that's really simple. On the left hand side, look for pagination type, click the drop down, and click load more. This immediately adds the load more feature and allows you to infinitely load the number of blog posts that you'd like by pressing load more, scrolling down, and pressing load more again. If you would like to customize this, you simply click on the post list again and you can click on edit design. And this will bring you into Thrive's uh, exclusive editor. So when you're in this exclusive mode, you're just simply editing the post list. Now, something really nice about this is that in the right hand side, we can open up our elements again. And here are a whole new set of elements. These are the elements that you will find in Thrive Theme Builder. So what Thrive is doing is they're starting to add these features into Thrive Architect, allowing us to kind of start building with them early on. So to customize this post list, let's say that I wanted to add a feature image. I simply locate the feature image option and I drag it where I'd like it located. You'll notice that it instantly changed all of the elements. That's also a new feature in Thrive. Uh, they've grouped those elements together for a group editing. So any changes that I make, for example, to the featured image, if I were to change the size, you'll notice it changes it on all of them. If I were to add margin, you'll notice that it does the same to all of them. And that's really, really neat. So we can also add other things. Let's say I wanted to add the categories that this post were in. Well, I just simply take the post categories and I drag it to where I want it located. And then I click on that and I can make any kind of edits that I want. I can change this to be uh, paragraph text. I can change the size if I thought it was a little too big. I could bold it if I wanted to. So you'll see that with the ability to edit all of these at once, you're really given a lot of freedom. Uh, you can even take this uh, even further and add a background style. Let's say we wanted to make this background blue and we wanted all of the post titles. Keep those as H2s, but we wanted the text to now be white. So you can see the options really are limitless. And this allows us to create some really cool post types. Obviously what I've created is pretty ugly, but it's able to be customized exactly how you want for your website to fit what you're doing. So the last thing I'll say on this about pagination is that as of uh, making this video on the 13th of September, 2019, the only pagination type we have right now is the load more button. However, Thrive Themes has stated that in the next week or two, perhaps three, knowing how they work sometimes, we're going to have additional pagination options. So instead of just load more, we might have um, pagination, uh, like pay, you know, go to page two, go to page three. Um, we might even have arrows, things like that. So um, yeah, this is awesome. Pagination finally allows us to essentially create a custom blog post page. And while Thrive Theme Builder is coming out soon, that will completely allow us to create templates for our blog post pages and archive pages. This is a great middle step and it's a fantastic solution for adding a post list to any post or page. I'm gonna go ahead and add something that looks a little bit better. One example is if this was my page about Thrive Leads or Thrive Architect, I may want to add a post list element to my page saying, okay, I want to show all of my posts about Thrive Architect because this is my page where I'm talking about my Thrive Architect consulting. So I'd add in my, my post list. I could say, okay, I want this to be two columns and I want to filter this so that I can only show uh, posts that are related to Thrive Architect. Well, we can go to, we can do a custom query, right? Where we can set date ranges and the number of posts to display. We can add display rules where we can say, okay, I only want to show categories and they are posts that at least one that matches Thrive Architect, perfect. So if I hit save and close, you'll notice not much change there because most of these have to do with Thrive Architect. 
but now I'm able to filter my posts and show only posts that have to do with Thrive Architect. Now I could filter that again and I could choose related posts and I only want to choose posts that are related by category. This allows you to write inside of your blog post, insert posts that are related to the posts you just posted. So for example, again this is going to be Thrive this is going to be, excuse me, posts that are related to the topic I've chosen or the category that I've chosen for this post. So this one is still in editing, so I haven't chosen a category, so it's stuck on my uncategorized. So it's pulled posts that are only related to uncategorized. So again, with these options, we can really start to customize the post list that we display. So again, going back to custom query, gets us back to our default. So play around with the post list element, play around with the ability to customize its look, to add pagination, uh, and feel free to share the things you've come up with. I think this is going to be a fantastic addition to Thrive Architect. Really allows us to build some fantastic custom pages while we wait for and even after Thrive Theme Builder comes out. If you have any questions about pagination or how to implement these features in Thrive Architect, feel free to respond to the video here in a comment or to post on, on my blog. Thanks for watching.